Independent National Electoral Commission says it's ready for a number of state governorship elections despite sit home order by separatists. We're looking at all sides of the issues at stake. World Trade Organization DG Ngozi Okonjo Iwela son performs medical feat in the United States. And of course, we will be taking a look at all the major stories on our dailies this morning. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bopo. It's a very beautiful Friday morning and it's, it feels really great to be back on your screen. I hope you had a great week and the weekend is going to be awesome. Now we kick off the conversation as usual with our top trending. And this morning we start off with the fact that yes, again, uh, a Nigerian is making us proud and that's courtesy of the family of Okonjo Iwela's son who has actually achieved a medical fit. Now she took, she took to Twitter as a proud mom on her Twitter handle and uh, she put out that tweet saying, hey, you have actually performed the surgery, a spinal surgery, the first in its kind in the United States. And she said, uh, we're proud to have you. I'm proud to be your mom. And uh, that generated a lot of conversation. I'm hoping that we can have that tweet, uh, you know, on the screen where she said that I'd like to read it verbatim if all things are equal. However, uh, that also generated a lot of uh, reactions and conversations. Some persons were like, oh, this is really good. Uh, congratulations for always. Your family has always put Nigeria in a positive light. And that's a good thing. Now, usually with us as a people, we find it almost difficult for us to talk about our, uh, you know, our wins and our gains. And so is always about you know uh, the wrong narrative over time so I'm thinking that you know we should blow this up for every time you have a Nigerian doing something great I think it's important that we blow the trumpet we never get to talk about you know the good things that are happening uh, we only get to always talk about you know our weaknesses and all of that which could also be you know defaults I think for human beings but that's also uh, one of the issue however congratulations to uh, Uchechi Awela and uh, you know and congratulations to Nigeria congratulations you know to the family uh, that's a great one then away from that uh, Facebook has announced that it will actually change or it's going to be changing uh, the company name to Meta it sounds like Meta uh, you know Meta like Meta or metaphor however and that's because uh, According to Mark Zuckerberg, he's saying that there's need for the company to reflect, I mean, there's need for an overhaul of the company's identity to reflect its burden. Uh, ambition. I mean, to reflect what the company is doing, what they stand for. But some persons are saying, could it be that uh, it's as a result of the fact that over the years, you know, Facebook have actually gone through a lot of crisis. They have seen their name being dented. I mean, from the uh, 2016 Russian interference in the presidential election, you know, to the issue of the Cambridge privacy scandal and to that of the whistleblower, you know, worker of the company. Could that be the reason? And what would happen you know to uh, the rest of uh, the world how would it be accepted a lot of people are already used to the name Facebook and now we are going to go by the name or we're going to have to leave with the fact that it's going to be called meta however let's see how all of this pans out and now uh, uh, the next conversation is about Barcelona uh, you could see that this season the great teams haven't been really performing very well. Uh, for instance, you find out that Barcelona really has not had a good formation for this particular season and there's need um, for a change of manager. Uh, also, some quarters are also expecting that that might also happen with Man United, but talks are already not out. But let's just stay with Barcelona. Now, uh, there's some kind of expectation that Javi Hernandez is expected to be named Barcelona's new manager. Uh, like I, I rightly mentioned, if you see the performance and it brings me back to the question because a lot of people used to say what would happen to Barcelona without Messi now with the exit of Messi it's very obvious that uh, maybe Messi was just you know everything about the team and the team should not be centered about one person but we can actually see that this season the formation has really been quite impressive and so um, just maybe but I think that um, 
Hernandez is not a bad one because if you look at his history and antecedent so far, he feels like um, it feels to me that he is, you know, a man for this job. Because uh, I think about eight La Liga, uh, La Liga titles, he's won that, and about four uh, championship titles. That's not a bad one. Hopefully he gets it. Hopefully Barcelona, you know, gets in form and the remaining matches, they could actually get something uh, out of it. It would really be great. But we'll take a break right now. This is where we anchor on the top training stories. We'll take a break when we return. We will be checking out our top stories on the front pages of the National Dailies. And of course, we'll have a guest join us who would make sense of all of this. Please stick around. Good morning.